I cannot express enough how much I love this game. Alright. Hey, myself situated here. Because I had some issues earlier. If anybody follows me on Twitch, which is five of you, um, and you may have seen some uh, restarts and more restarts and then another restart, accumulating into four total, Twitch is giving me a headache. So, I've decided to abandon them for today, because I'm done spending two hours trying to make a stream work, and I'm going to be here on the YouTube, where I'm a little bit more familiar with the... with the, uh, streaming service. Sorry, fixing something real quick, I gotta think. There we go, that's a little better. Yay! Ha ha! Victory! Alright, sound is good? Check two! Yay! Okay, good. No more issues with that, thank God! Alright. It's just so much easier. I want to be on Twitch, I really do. I have my account set up, I've tried a few different times, we did a stream using uh, Fortnite now, I'm wondering if the Fortnite stream even functioned at all. Like, maybe people just saw a black screen then too. It keeps appa appearing that I'm offline, supposedly. I'm not offline. I'm online. I'm streaming. How would I be offline? Truther mucker. Whatever, it's fine. It's my I'm not mad about it. You're not mad about it. You're mad about it. I'm not mad about it. Everything's fine. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna stop being a butt. Oh, I'm so excited to get to this game. I love the unfinished swan. So, yay! I'm just saying, I'm just gonna pop this over. It's been a little bit of a hectic start. No. Oops. 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 There we go. Let's put that in the right spot, shall we? Ah. I don't know. I kind of feel like that breath breath air for sure. I feel like that breath of fresh air right now. Uh, not being on, <laughs> not being <laughs> on Twitch. Okay, let's play. Let's play. I'm ready. I want to see what happens with the king. I am ready. Let's do this. Ah, I'm so excited. Maybe we can beat it today. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Let's beat it today. Ah, hey. it's you, the boy from my dream. Oh, he's what animated. a strange dream it was. My life's work was being destroyed, and all I could do was watch. Come, sit here by the fire. It all began right there, in the house I grew up in. Is that the hippo talking? I heard a heavy knocking at the door, just like on the night I left. On the night he left. That's Milton who left. Oh! Oh! I thought I was watching. I'm playing. Oh. Oh, this is cool! Okay. Okay, so for anybody who is not familiar, this game is linked to Edith Finch. And this is a story... -ish. It's the imaginative version of the story of how Milton disappeared. Um... So yeah, I'm really, uh, really excited about that. This is cool, this is cool, this is cool, this is cool. Okay, let's go. Sorry, I was, I was still fiddling with things. I wanted to, can I jump? Ah, oh, here we go. I sound like I'm, I sound like an older man. I guess that makes sense because this is supposed to be the king. So that's a picture of the king and the little, and the prince. I'm wondering if that's maybe his dad. Okay, so something I've been thinking about, because uh, I don't know the lore of this yet, I haven't looked up anything, um, is that this is... Mil this Milton 
has imagined uh, a lot of things pertaining to his dad. So I was thinking like the king was I opened the door, his dad. But there was nothing there, just a white space. Can I? Oh, I can give bubbles. Jeez. Hang on. Is there anything else in here? There's literally nothing in there. Oh my gosh! It just disappears. What? Does it? Does it fall? Do I fall? Can do I fall if I go this way? No. Oh my gosh! It's like what? How far does it go? It just goes into nothingness. But I don't go into nothingness. I just can't go any further. Interesting. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, it's me! Hi! And I have a little stash. Oh, I got a little mustachio. Nice. <laughs> I like my little mustachio. All right. Uh. Oh. Uh, uh, um, what do I do about that? Uh, I don't like going forward into white. I don't see anything. Oh, this is weird. Bizarre. Oh, okay. Oh, this is like going through that maze. Okay. Ooh. If it's confusing for you watching, know that it's also confusing for me playing it. I hear something to my right. Sounds like... Sounds like wind chimes? Oh, no, 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 it's... Yeah, it is wind chimes. I'm in the same room that I started in! Oh gosh, but I'm also very turned around. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I'm in the same room I started in. I started here. And then I'm gonna go outside. But when I got oh. outside, disaster. Some miscreant had painted everything. My <laughs> garden was ruined. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was me! <laughs> Oh, that's cool! Oh, that's cool, so it comes full circle. I wonder if... No, this is different. I mean, yeah, it's the garden, but... I, I shouldn't have been here already. There was... this skipping section. Okay. And then, my statue I was gonna say, I wonder if the balloon... And said, if the balloon Help me! Said. Some little hooligan is running around splattering everything in the garden. <laughs> I think he's headed for the... <laughs> <laughs> Got it by mouth. <laughs> oh, dear. I did do that though. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't push him over, but I did definitely uh, just coat the statue in black. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I wonder if there's like other a balloon. Balloon. I got it. Baboon. I saw my unfinished labyrinth, abandoned and forgotten. Oh, I splattered the, yeah, I splattered the walls of the labyrinth. That was cool. <gasps> Did I jump off? If I jump off, that's a bad thing, right? Oh, hey, I wonder if you can solve the labyrinth. Like, if you have like a overhead view, and you just, hang on, that's. Okay, I, that's so stupid of me to do this, but I really want to see it again. Anyway, alright. Whatever, I'll take a screenshot of it and have fun and with it. And then the credits appeared. <laughs> Your dreams have credits? Oh yes, and subtitles. <laughs> okay, true story. I actually had a dream that had credits and, and music roll at the end of it. And I want to make that movie, not joking, it's... It even has a title and everything. Like it even had like a, the the title screen. And oh my gosh, it was just it was amazing. It was like an apocalyptic kind of dream. It was cool. <laughs> I love that. All right, let's see if I can. Can I jump that far? Oh, thank goodness, cause uh, that was just faith on that. Written and directed by Ian Dallas. Yo, forever Mwah, kisses to you, Ian Dallas. Love your stuff. Oh, hey, it's the little guys! Yay! Uh, how do I... Um, no, that's not it. Uh, 
They won't go that direction. They'll go that direction, though. Produced by Max, I covered up your name. We will, uh... Ha <laughs> ha Sorry about that. Alright, so jump! I got it. Alright, so I'm gonna go this way. And then, I saw my beautiful city strangled by those disgusting vines. It's up there! I built it to stand a hundred lifetimes, and instead, it'll be buried in one. A monument for weeds. <laughs> oh no! Strangled by those vines! Look man, I just thought they were cool. Oh my gosh, am I supposed to- this is bizarre. Can I- mm, can I hit that? No! Hang on a second. Oh, this just feels bizarre. How do I hit the- Ah, oh, got it. Alright. Uh, okay, this feels bizarre. This feels bizarre. I feel so upside down right now. It's the goose! Ah, it's the goose! The goose. I hit the goose. I feel accomplished. I have accomplished things in my life. I hit the goose. <laughs> oh, do I love this game so much? Oh, it's such a delight. Okay. I'm trying to see where exactly I'm trying to go. I guess I'll just find out, but... Oh, can I go down? Up? Can I go up down? Okay, no. Those cracks don't let me go any further than that. So where am I going exactly? Ha! Oh, do I... Wait, what? What is going on? Is that wind? Get it, what? Where am I? Hello, what? Am I climbing up? Here we go. Okay. The dining hall was full of people, like the old days. It smelled like roasted goose. For a moment, I was happy. <laughs> it smelled like roasted goose, and for a moment I was happy. You know... <laughs> Same energy, bestie. Same energy. Anybody who knows me knows how much I hate geese and have continuously requested that they spontaneously combust. No more about it, though. If you like geese, congratulations. Good for you. Be a good person. Don't be me. Hate geese. I hate geese. Little entitled mother truckers. Anyway. Looks like there's something up here, right? No? Why would you have stairs if I can't get up here? Ah. Oh wait, was this the way I was supposed to go? I don't want to go the way I was supposed to go! Oh, no, I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. Alright. This is doing the credits like Stanley Parable did the credits. <laughs> Where it's like, incorporated. Uh, it's really hard to... I can't see the block. Alright. Why would you make the ability to go up here? I don't want to miss another really, really easy balloon like I did last time. Like, it was literally right there. I was like, oh man, I'm climbing this little secret area. This has to be useful for something. And, and then I missed the thing that it was there for. I missed it entirely. And I don't see it. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad if I miss this really easy balloon or something. I don't see anything now. I just see the wall. Alright, fine. Scream in the comments about how I missed the balloon. I don't see anything. Alright. Alright. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Let's go. Oh. Haha. -ha. I'm looking good. Look at me and my little mustache. Hey, Echo! What is up? Haven't seen you in a minute. The narrator from Stanley Parable? Yes, it does. There's a lot of this that reminds me of Stanley Parable, actually. But this especially right here, this whole sequence. <laughs> reminds then suddenly, I was alone again. The world had become cold. And <gasps> oh! Oh, I'm hearing the... Um, I'm hearing the... Uh, Spiders again. We're back to horror game version of this. Oh, oh no. Oh. I was scared for a second. I thought splattering black on it would stay black and then I wouldn't be able to see anything. Alright. What is 
that. You see that circle there, right? Okay, that's just a thing. See, that happens in a few different places in here, and I'm wondering if it's like a... If I it's, oh. my own death rising around me. Oh, what? Okay, that's not good. Oh, do I need to run? Is that what this is? A running sequence? Okay. Uh, we are... Where's balloons? Where's balloons, though? But balloons, though! No! Wait! Wait! But wait, though! But balloons! Stop rising for two seconds! Let me balloon! Uh, what do I do? Where do I go? I guess I just... If the water rises, I guess I'll take this, uh, table with me. I feel like there should have been a balloon. Okay, so the water is not rising any further? It's not? Uh, well, I don't... Hmm. Okay, okay. Help! Alright, hang on. Let's, uh... Hmm. No. Okay, so maybe... Oh, I see. No, I don't see. I lied. I was full of lies. I see nothing. What? What? Okay. What? Hang on. So, I'm not supposed to jump on that. Really? I really can't. There's a wall there. What am I supposed to do? Oh good, ten minutes in, I'm already stuck. What, did I, what am I supposed to do? Let's try to go backwards real quick. Because there's things I can jump on here at least. Huh. Not very far though. I remember the- oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't try to, um, hello. I didn't try to hit that. Let me hit this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what it is. In hindsight, that was actually pretty easy. Uh, let's see. Where to pick up? What? Oh! Oh! Okay, so hold up. Let me just make a little, uh... Make a... Make a... Make a thing. There we go. Up, up. Yeah. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Come on. There we go. Woohoo! Alright, there we go. I should have known that in hindsight, but it is. <laughs> Alright, where are my balloons? I demand balloons. <gasps> Balloon! Hang on, let's get this too. Right, I floated past the chunks of the house I built, or started building. Scarcely ten years later, Give and it. the whole thing was in ruins. My works were meant to last forever, but most of them will be gone before I am. Hmm. Oh, there she is. Oh, well, wait. Oh, hi. Uh, was at a funeral. My own, as it turned out. There was a thing on no the screen. No one was there. Except you. Oh. So, like, I really felt like the parallel was that this whole story about the king was something Milton made up in his mind about his father. Because his father dies in India, I think it is. Uh, because of a earthquake or a rock slide or something like that. I think it was an earthquake. Uh, and so he must have been pretty young at that time so he probably it, again if you know all the lore and I'm completely wrong it's totally fine and just don't yell at me about it um, but he may have he may have been like uh, made up a story about how his father had these grand adventures and that's why he left and then he goes through this door either metaphorical or something that actually um and and goes to be with his father uh kind of how i see it as a possibility anyway let me change the screen a little bit there we go okay i don't know i i know the family the the finch family is kind of notorious for creating stories or just known for making stories so it makes sense to me 
It's a. Uh, oh gosh, what's his name? My Milo. Oh wait, what? Okay, never mind. I forget the name of the person that I'm supposed to. I was supposed to be. He didn't call himself Milton or anything like that. Try to make it. I forgot my name. I forgot my name in the game. The name of the main character. Oh, cute! <laughs> boing. Boing. Okay, anyway. Interesting. Alright, and there's no... I find it hard to believe that there's not a balloon in here. Alright. Oh, I'm still going. Alright, it is what it is. Uh, sorry, dead person. And I can't step through the mirror because I thought I that would be fun. I saw my mom hurt. My last hope of leaving something that would live on <coughs> after me. And I began to walk towards it. Alright. With credits. Ooze animation. <laughs> you know, good job on that ooze animation. For real. Fantastic. <laughs> Spot on. Let's keep it in my head. With each step I took, I got larger. Oh. Where are my feet? I don't see my feet. I just kept growing and growing like a teenager. <laughs> I just kept growing and growing like a teenager, huh? Can I go other places? No, I can't. I can only go forward. Alright. With a gentle push, my mind crumbled and sank. The tower in the distance. Can we see this, the moon? There were people who lived on the moon. Oh, here we go. I saw my life's work laid out in front of me. Soon it would crumble into dust or be painted over by someone who would come after me. The same way I painted over what was here before me. Oh. Wow. This is this is incredible actually. Let me see behind me. Oh wow. I feel like this is like about his father's death. <clears throat> when the universe ended, I knew that everything I had made was over. And as I sat there, looking out into the darkness, I thought back on all the things I'd built and left unfinished. I realized something. I wasn't sad that it was all gone. I had fun making all that stuff. I would have done it anyway. And then, somehow I knew that when I woke up, all my work really would be destroyed. And that's when you showed up. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. I have something for you. This brush isn't mine anymore. My work is over. It belongs to you now. I hope it makes you happy and that someday they will say he is a better man than his father. That oh. door will take you anywhere you want to go. But leave quickly, child. None of this will last for long. And that night, even though Monroe. he was very tired, Monroe did something that would have made his mother very happy. He painted. Oh! I hate that it was just so little left because I feel bad about that because I, I stopped the stream so early last time because I couldn't, I couldn't continue. But oh my gosh! Okay, so that really gave me goosebumps though. I'm not even gonna lie. That really gave me goosebumps. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me take a look at each other. Oh, so yeah. So yeah, I think it is about uh, about Milton's father and trying to come to, come to terms with, with his death and what to do about that. And there's more. Right, so what is this about then? Oh, I got out. Oh, zero out of zero. Okay, then that's fine. Um, there's one more in there. What is this, though? There's the credits, and then there's two 
Question marks. Let's see. Do you... Oh, Max Geiger, Joshua Sarfat Sarfati, is that how you say that? I love these pictures. Ben Esposito. Oh, I'm in love with these pictures. Stop being so amazing. I actually, keep being so amazing. I freaking love it. Hokyoin. Gosh, I love these! The art style is so much fun. Miyam Nagi, uh, Corey Davis, artists, oh my gosh. Just all the kudos and all the love. Eric Fong, thank you. Enzo, thank you. Okay, so Echo, um, I am in love with uh, everything Giant Sparrow has done. Have you seen or played any of their games like Edith Finch or this one, Unfinished Spawn? We're gonna, I'm gonna, um, actually play another game, too, so I'll finish this one and end the stream, and then I'll do another stream, because there's another game that I really want to, I really want to check out, uh, called Strange Horticulture, so, um, I do want to check that out. I also want to play, um, uh, what's it? <laughs> Sally Face. I want to play Sally Face again, because I heard an update that Sally Face 2 is coming out in December, so, <laughs> So if you guys have never experienced Sally Face, it's a great indie horror game. It's a lot of twists. Oh, this is beautiful. Gosh, and this this team, like all these all these people who work on this game, I'm just I can't get over how amazing their work is. It is. If you liked uh, Stanley Parable, absolutely, you would love this game. Um, sorry about the delay in being able to see your, your comment. Uh, but um, this, I would say, I would say Edith Finch. I, I already streamed Edith Finch, but I kind of. I almost want to just do it again. <laughs> like, I just, I love it. There's no point in doing it again. It's already there. But Edith Finch is just, I've, I've played that game, I want to say no less than eight times. It only takes two hours to play. So if you haven't played it and you haven't watched anybody play it, I would it, highly encourage you to play it for yourself first before you even watch anybody play it because the experience of it, there's a whole sequence in there um, that's highly, uh, highly toted um they call it the, the fish sequence uh uh where you're you're in a you're in a place and you're chopping fish it i i know that sounds bizarre but it really puts you in an incredible um i would say uh empathetic link empathic link Empath empathetic there you go that's the word empathetic link to somebody who deals with either schizophrenia or just um, prefers to live in their mind. It's not even necessarily schizophrenia. It's like um, one of Edith's brothers just lives in his head. He preferred his his own his own stories to the real world, and I connected to that so hardcore. Being a writer and a, a fantasy story creator, um, and I have worlds and worlds in my head, and adventures and cultures and histories and languages. I've created 14 languages, complete with grammar rules. Uh, I've written four of their dictionaries. Um, I love the stories that are in my head and they, I totally understand 
uh, Lewis, her brother, wanting to live in the stories he created rather than the world that he saw. And the gameplay aspect of it is, like, I'm not spoiling anything, I promise you. The gameplay aspect of, of doing what he does and the way that it, the, the way that everything goes down is <sighs> no game, I don't think, that I've played anyway, has actually made the successfully made the player truly link to that mindset where you stop seeing the real world and you're just in the imaginary even though you're monotonously doing the real world stuff it's so cool it's so cool so um it's, it's not just that though like there's so many sequences in it so many different ways to tell stories in edith finch it's just a production of a whole bunch of different stories of how people lived and how they died um and then this one unfinished swan is uh her brother milton is said to have disappeared and you don't know what the heck happened to him and there's nothing else really talked about it's just he disappeared and this is a story that shows all a lot of his artwork um so it, it really seems to be about milton um and his father um is just like a blip in edith finch where they just talk about the mom married the dad they moved to india and then they came and then after an earthquake they came back and the father was gone so the father had died in an earthquake is how we pretty much understand um and there's really nothing else said about it you know so, so you're just kind of left there like um this story seems to be about that this story seems to be about milton and his father milton and finding finding his father discovering his father and i i guess that's how he died disappeared ah. uh there's a lot there's a lot to unpack here so it's a lot to unpack here it's beautiful though it's a beautiful game oh my gosh this was such an experience and i loved the mechanic of uh using little paint balls to see <laughs> I was like, I don't know where anything is. I remember when I first opened this game, I didn't know what the mechanics were. Uh, that's one thing uh, Giant Sparrow is kind of notorious for. Uh, or I just really like them for it, honestly. Um, they don't tell you how to use the controls. You just kind of discover it on the buttons. And you just kind of like, is this what it is? Like, opening Edith Finch. You'll struggle in the very beginning trying to figure out how to move the page. You won't know how to turn the page on a book. It, it, it'll take you a moment. Um, but once you get it, you get it. But uh, that's basically what they did here. So when I first opened the screen, I was a, just a white screen, and I was pressing buttons, and all of a sudden, suddenly it was a black screen. And I was like, why is it black? What did I do? <laughs> And I had obviously I'd walked into a wall and then I painted it black and then all I saw was black and I couldn't see the bubbles around it so I didn't know what was going on. I figured it out eventually. <laughs> Alright, so it's not letting me get into those little extras. So I guess the only way I will get there is if I um, complete finding all the rest of these little... I want to find the rest of these darn balloons. I'm upset about this one. I saw the three balloons. I saw them sitting there. There was like a like a little like one one little pole tied with three three balloons on it, and I was like, how do I hit this thing? Couldn't find the dang thing. Ah, uh, the nursery. But we got time, so I mean, if you're down, I'm gonna go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna see if I can find these stupid balloons. <clears throat> such an awesome game such an awesome game <laughs> I won't be here too long though because I'm really looking forward to Sally face so I'll be here for maybe when Mo scrambled out of the water and found himself in a massive city with no sign of the swan or anyone else well except someone's enormous pair of feet <laughs> these were attached to a giant who could have been a big help in catching the swan but unfortunately here was the laziest giant who had ever lived. I gotta do something and I didn't get to do on the off. previous stream when Having I first did it. <clears> in his <throat> usual way, he was now sleeping it off and quite unable to hear Monroe yelling. There, I uh, somehow I missed for a way to wake the giant, hitting the giant's Monroe belly. Monroe noticed something <laughs> better, a floating ship. 
I do it every. I, I I did it for like forever when I first got on the when I first got in this game. I was like, I can hit the giant's belly with my little paintball gun, <laughs> and then I like I didn't do it on the season last time. I was like, where's the giant? Then I gotta find him. I also gotta find this one. What is that? Why does that look like an apple slice that got bitten into? What is that? What am I looking at? Uh, hmm. Okay, so we gotta find. There's the goose. Okay, I hear him. There he is! In <laughs> the giant's belly. <laughs> what is that fun? Is that his belly? That's his toe. Is that his toe? What is that? That's his arm! <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm definitely wanna find these uh balloons. I'll hunt around for a little bit. <clears throat> but have you um have you uh played or seen a playthrough of Sally Face? Because that's the one I'm gonna go to next, I think. Just because I'm really excited for the next uh the next installment, Sally Face 2 is gonna be amazing. I totally wanna find wanna play it. I don't want to play it without, like, I want to play it blind, like, I don't want to know anything about it. I just want to go in and play it as soon as it comes out. It's on my wish list. Okay, where is, I wish I could run. I wish, like, after you went through it, you could run. Oh, that button makes, all of these buttons, I, I've been only using this button to make, to make the little, the little paintballs move. I, all of them work. Okay, I didn't know that. Cool. Yeah, I know. Let's see. <laughs> I still think that's fun. Alright. <clears throat> Let's try. Can I get up there by chance? Or can I hit a balloon through there? Maybe that's where I, what I missed. Maybe I didn't, I didn't try to like hit a balloon in there or something. Uh, I don't see one. Maybe, I feel like there used to, there was a balloon in here. I feel like there is a balloon in there and I already got it. What is that? What am I looking at? What is up there? Alright, I'll find out. Can't get through there. Alright, I can walk across this. Me. There's the balloon. Huh? Oops. No. Where's the balloon? The baboon. Alright, so I think I just have to go through here. Is there one over there? The baboon. I don't know where the one is that I'm missing. Eh, if I don't find it today, because I'm not going to be here much longer, but. Seen a bit of it? Cool. Because I watched it so long ago. Um, that it is now majority out of my head. I just have the lingering emotions from it. So, you know, like, when you've had a really good dream, um, and Before you wake he up... discovered painting, the king was a potter. He loved the simplicity <laughs> of a well-spun pot. But you can't remember. So when his subjects complained that his new city was too austere and that there was nowhere to relieve themselves, the king ignored them. <laughs> but when they started relieving themselves in his pots, the king hastily built them a sewer system. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I love that story. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, like, you, you wake up from a dream that you can't necessarily remember the details of, but you remember that it was cool. Like, you remember the emotions of it. Or you remember that it was scary, and you, you wake up feeling terrified. Like, I remember... I remember majority of the characters, like, their faces and and 
and, and stuff like that. And, and I remember, like, kind of their demeanors. But I can't remember everything about what happened in the story. So it's going to be almost like like a fresh playthrough for me. And I'm happy about that. I, I refuse to... I, I refuse to, like, look up anything else on it and, and try to rewatch anybody's playthrough on it because I want to have that new experience. Because it's going to be quasi-fresh experience for Sally yeah. Days, and I'm really excited. So. <laughs> All right. I, I should be able to find at least one balloon. Come on, one balloon. Where is it? I'm determined to find one balloon. That's really what it is. A completion. What? Did it? Oh, it went through there. Is the balloon in there? That's bizarre. Is there? Hang on. That's bizarre. Huh. Okay, so I guess that opens up. Then does this one do the same? Is there like a hidden balloon in here? Usually you can't. You can't get anything through bars. That's why that's bizarre to me. Oh, okay. Now I know why I didn't get the giant in my first episode when I was playing here, because I played right after the last balloons that I caught. Because I didn't want to repeat something that I played. I don't know. It's weird, though. Should have at least gotten there. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I did this on my first episode. Where was the giant then? I'm gonna go back and look at my episode, previous episode. Oh, is it up here? Is the balloon in here? Oh, come on! I demand a balloon in here. Alright, fine. Baboon! I demand baboons! I love this game. I love this game. I'm gonna obsessively play this when I get off off from here. I'll just be like obsessing over this game. This is just amazingly delightful. And I love it. Is there like a white balloon or something? Not in here. Because it goes to the next chapter when I go in here, doesn't it? Is there something else that opens up with this waterway? Is there some other path that that opens up that I miss? Because if I go this direction, it's going to go to the next chapter, I think. Let me double check here. Make sure there's nothing here. No, nothing to change. Let me check up there real quick. Hee hee hee, pink. Gosh, I love this game. And I also want to know what that is. <laughs> Alright. Nope. Alright, well, we'll call it for today. I'll find out where they are and then I'll do like a little stream on where to find all the balloons. Baboons! Alright. <laughs> <sighs> I love this game. This game is delightful. Let's head out and go play Sally Face because, yes! I'll probably have that stream up in like mm, 30 minutes. So, if you want to come back with a snack, we're going to go ahead and play Sally Face today because I finished this one early. Let's do that. Hey, thanks for coming out, Echo. I appreciate you. <laughs> ah, and I need more Giant Sparrow games. <laughs> Alrighty. Stay gorgeous, people.